Good morning. It is Tuesday. Yesterday was actually a holiday here, and I really took it as such. I did a crap ton of laundry and read my book all day and it was a really nice relaxing day but when I have days like that I'm tempted to just do that over and over and over again and I have been in a really good routine for the last probably three weeks or so I've just really been finding great balance in my life between seeing friends, getting a lot of work done, getting to the gym, cooking really healthy meals, looking after myself, just like all the good stuff. And so I'm trying not to lose that now just because I had a nice chill day yesterday. So I'm just kind of putting on the bare minimum of makeup here. I'm having lunch with Jackie and Nova today. And then I booked myself in for a hot yoga class this afternoon. I'm just gonna try and have a really nice productive day and feel really balanced and fulfilled at the end of it. Green, the color of true elation. Pine on a summer's day, see I've been waiting for yoga it was completely different than any yoga that I've ever done before which is crazy to say because I have been doing yoga for probably at least 15 years if not more and I've never done a class like this before I signed up for it because it was called detox yoga and it was at 2 p.m. which was like a time that worked well for me but in the description it talked about like twists and I just thought it was gonna be like a really twist heavy hot yoga session but I'm literally I don't know if you can tell like I literally didn't even sweat it was really focused on breath, which I was not super into at the beginning, but then as things progressed, it really got into like mobility. So it was really focused on like hip mobility and like opening up my lower back and my hips and my lower back started to feel so amazing, like so incredible. It felt so good to just do these like twisting I don't even really know how to explain it like we spent the whole time on the mat and we would get into these like crazy twist positions and then just kind of like move our hips around and I could just feel myself opening up like I think I got taller it was really nice and even though it was very different than I was expecting and I didn't really get like a sweat or it wasn't even really a workout it just made my body feel so good so I definitely want to do that again. I think I would rather do it at the end of the week after I've done a week of workouts and I'm feeling like sore and kind of like I need a little bit of a stretch rather than at the beginning of the week. But yeah, it was, it was good. I only ate like half my ramen at lunch because I didn't want to go to hot yoga with a super full stomach. So I'm going to finish this now. After lunch, I have some emails that I need to get back to and then just going to continue on with my to-do list.
Okay, it's 5.30. It's starting to get dark, so I pulled up my little light. That you can actually see what I'm gonna show you, but I have a bunch of packages that I thought we could open together. We haven't opened packages on the blog in a really long time. Most of these are from Amazon. So in the first one here, I have a book. It's so beautiful, it's white. Uh, this is Kingdom of Ash, which is the seventh and final book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Moss. It is, it is a big boy. I don't wanna like see any spoilers, but I wanna see how many pages. 984 pages, guys, I'm excited. I just finished Tower of Dawn yesterday. I got to like the last chapter and then I like pulled out my phone to order this one so that it would come for today so that I could read it today if I wanted to, but it took me pretty close to a month to get through this one. I rated it three out of five stars on Goodreads because it was very boring for a lot of this book. This book focuses on different characters than the rest of the books. Like, they're characters from the other books, but they really, like, focus on some of the smaller characters from the earlier books in the series. I just don't really care. So this book goes back and forth between two characters, basically, Kale and Nezrin. Nezrin was a character who was introduced really late in the series, and I just don't care about her. And for half of this book, to be about her and like from her point of view was just really painful. Like I really, <laughs> I would read like one chapter a night when we were in like the Nezrin chapters because I just like really didn't care. This was definitely the worst book in the series so far. I don't even know if it's a necessary read. I feel like you could almost skip it, but obviously if you're reading this series, like you're not gonna skip it. So I don't know. Not a great book, but I made it through and I am so excited to read this one and I'm actually looking forward to finishing it as well. I'm feeling kind of ready to move on from this world. Look how, look how beautiful it is. I love, I love the white. Oh my God, okay. Next we have Amazon Basics. <laughs> We're always in need of a stapler. And so because I was ordering something else on there, I ordered, a stapler guys riveting riveting stuff here what I was actually on there ordering was this guy here which is a picture frame for our La La Land poster so we saw La La Land for Valentine's Day and they were selling these posters so we bought one and I got the frame to stick it in there so that we can hang it up we really need to start hanging shit up in here. I've been in this apartment for two years already and there's nothing hanging on the walls, which is just so us. <laughs> but I wanna start getting some stuff hung up, so that's what that's for. I don't know, was it last vlog or maybe the vlog before that, I was uh, restocking my makeup kit with you guys and some stuff I was able to pick up at Shoppers, but I also did a Charlotte Tilbury order that came in. So inside here I have three airbrushed flawless finishing powders, two number ones because I need one for myself and one for my kit and then one in shade number two. And then I also got a pillow top lip liner because I was running out of my pillow top lip liner. And that is everything that I picked up. <laughs>
totally don't know And energy so deceiving Stuck in silence somehow really real time this week. I'm gonna finish this video and then I'm gonna go and have a bagel and then go upstairs and do a leg workout and just continue on with my week. I feel like I was successful yesterday in having my nice productive day but feeling really like balanced. I got a little bit of everything in yesterday and those are just like my ideal days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm playing around with video length and trying to talk a little bit less and show you guys a little bit more and just try to make the vlogs a little bit more entertaining. So let me know what you guys thought, if you even noticed a difference. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.